Happy Friday. I'm really still not feeling well. Uh, I worked yesterday. Wow, I should have looked at myself. Um, I worked yesterday and got through it. Um, came home, made supper, cleaned up, did the lunches, did everything, and went to bed completely wiped. My throat was really hurting because I was talking too much yesterday at work. And then this morning, got up, got the kids ready, and then had to, like, run to the kitchen sink to work. So, obviously, I'm still not doing well, um, 100%. I'm okay, though. So, this vlog of this week will be, uh, let's see what I can put together. If I, if there's a vlog, if you're seeing this, then I managed to put together something that wasn't just me miserable the whole time. Um, so currently I am going to spend the day, it's a rainy, windy day, which I love. And everybody's like, oh, it's such a miserable day. I kind of love it. Um, I don't have to work today. Thank God. I'm just going to hang out and edit and clean, put away, do laundry from our trip because we never got a chance to do any of that. So if you are here, thank you so much. And let's see if I manage to do a vlog. Good morning. It is Monday morning. I woke up with a sore throat and a massive headache. And we had to drive back to Corner Brook today. So, <coughs> and apparently a cough. Okay. Um, yeah, Steve has a meeting until 1030. So we couldn't get up and get on the road early, which, you know, is fine for me right now. But that means we're not going to get home till late. We ordered groceries last night so we could pick them up when we got home. Uh, yeah, not looking forward to this long drive today. But we're into a new week. We'll see what goes on this week. Mm, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Hello, good morning. I have been very unwell. Um, we drove back on Monday. Today is Wednesday. It's actually Steve's birthday. It's my husband's birthday today. We drove back to Corner Brook on Monday, and um, it was the most miserable drive I've had in a very, very long time. I have a really bad sore throat. I'm putting my dishes while I'm talking. Really bad sore throat, but I also was really nauseous and had a fever. So I don't know what those three things together means or what I had. I really thought I had strep throat uh, because that's what happened the last time I had strep throat, those three symptoms. But so far, I haven't gotten those like white dots on my throat. I know this is gross. I'm sorry. That I would have if I had strep throat. So, so far... No white dots, but anyway, I'm supposed to work today. Obviously, I'm not working. Yesterday, Tuesday, I was off anyway. I didn't have to work, but I called in sick today. It's amazing that I can do that now, because obviously I should not be around customers right now. Um, yeah, so yesterday I spent most of the day in bed. I didn't get much sleep in the night. I didn't sleep in the day yesterday, but last night I took, where is it, this stuff, this Neocitrin nighttime for cold and sore throat, and that knocked me out, and I actually slept really good. So right now, um, I'm going to put away some of these dishes that I washed yesterday in my one energy spurt. I'll wash the dishes that are there from yesterday. I had some turkey soup in the freezer 
that I made before we went to St. John's after the Thanksgiving turkey. I'm going to have some of that. Um, I'm also doing some work on my YouTube channel. So, yeah. Um, I'm really thinking of going back to my old channel. Um, anyway, I'll talk about this when I can actually talk. But right now, I'm going to be posting on both. And then I'm going to go full time back to my old channel. It's still called Fictional Adulting. Nothing really changes. Um, it's just where you'll find the videos. Um, my experiment of starting a new channel didn't pan out as I thought it would. So all the work that I put into the old channel is still existing and I feel like it's a waste if I... Anyway, I'll talk about it when I can. I just stop talking and get some soup. So I haven't been vlogging because I feel like actual garbage. But um, t I mentioned that today is Steve's birthday and I'm trying to think about what I could make for him for supper because, you know, I haven't been able to go anywhere to get him anything and we're kind of crunching the old pennies lately. So I went down to the basement and checked the deep freeze and we had some ground beef, small packet of ground beef. So I'm making homemade burgers. So I did the burger patties and... Um, I'm baking the buns for the burgers because we didn't have burgers. So my last baking bread attempt was a fail because I forgot the salt. And this attempt is also not going great because they're not rising like they should. They rose a bit, but anyway, whatever. They're in the oven now and I let them, I let the dough rise in the bowl like you're supposed to, wrap it in saran wrap and put it in a nice warm place and let it rise in the bowl for 15 minutes, um, according to the one hour roll recipe. Um, and then I broke it up and punched it down and broke it up into the bun sizes and then let it rise again. That time it rose a little bit more, but not a whole lot. Anyway, whatever, it is what it is. They're in the oven. I have zero appetite and that rarely happens, so I'm going to take advantage of that fact because I am always stuffing my face. It wouldn't hurt for me to take a break on the old digestive system, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go lie down now that I've done that. I've cleaned dishes like three times because I made the patties and I made snacks for the kids and clean the dishes from last night because obviously I didn't do anything last night. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go lie down. So I am pleasantly surprised how my burger buns turned out. Um, I had them on two different racks. These were on the top rack and these were on the bottom rack. So obviously they're different. These are the ones we will have with burgers and these are just like bread rolls. I put sesame seeds on two of them just for fun. Um, but I knew the kids wouldn't want that. So anyway, these are going to be for the burgers and those are just bread, um, or whatever, whatever. I have no appetite, so I won't be eating anything. Maybe some bread. We'll see. Good morning. It's Thursday, I think. I'm feeling a bit better. I sound not better, but I'm feeling a bit better. Um, I have a job interview in an hour. They called me yesterday when I sounded even worse. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to go and see what happens. Uh, getting some coffee, going to put on my face. And I actually am going to go to work um, at 12 to 4 today. And yeah, <laughs> this vlog is going to be... I don't know what it's going to be. I haven't even done anything to make it half decently interesting. Okay. I gotta get ready and go to this job interview and see if I can make something happen today to make this vlog half interesting or at least entertaining. I don't know. I forgot to tell, uh, 
I did make the homemade burgers and buns last night. They turned out really good. And Steve had his on his plate and I was going to put a candle in it. And he didn't wait and just ate it. <laughs> so I didn't even get a picture of it. But they were really good. As far as I know, I did. I had a piece of one of the kids that they didn't finish. I just had no appetite, so I didn't have anything. I still have no appetite, but I'm going to have coffee. I'm going to have coffee, which is weird. When I'm sick, I usually only want tea, but coffee's made, and I really couldn't be bothered to make tea right now. Uh, okay, now I'm going to go get ready for the job interview. Okay, another having to film this way so you can see my outfit. Um, I'm wearing that blouse I wore to the dance show, um, that kind of short sleeve uh, see-through blouse, but I've got more of a thicker, higher neck tank top underneath. I'm wearing these kind of sailor type pants that I had left in St. John's and brought them home. They're kind of like stretchy, wide leg pants. Yes, there's a sock. There's stuff everywhere. I haven't had a chance to clean up since I've been home. Sorry, it's shaky. I haven't had a chance to clean up since I've been home. I haven't had a chance to unpack. I've just been sick. Um, I also got this thrifted um, Michael Kors jacket that is just like a cardigan. It is so soft. So most of my outfit is thrifted. The jacket, the shirt, the tank top, the pants were from Winners, and the shoes are my penny loafers that I've had since I was in high school. So yeah, the state of the, well, there's a bag of clothes that's too small for the kids. Another bag of clothes that's too small for the kids. Right there. Um, this is all stuff that needs to go. You want to see the state of this room? No, you really don't. You really don't. Um, there's stuff that I have to film to go with my thrifting that I did the other day. And this room is also a disaster because everything just got dropped and nothing is unpacked or put away. Um, but I'm going to put on some lips because I don't have any of those on yet. Oh, blush. And I'm going to go. Okay. Interview went well. Um, we'll see what happens. It seems to be, um, a good, relatively stress-free job, which is what I'm looking for. And it's full time and it pays more than what I make now. So check, check, check. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to make myself a kick-ass sandwich before I go to my other job or my actual job. Um, and I haven't heard back anything on the last interview, in case you're wondering. Uh, not feeling the greatest. I'm going to push through, do this shift. Um, I'm not sure. I know there is a rehearsal tonight. I'm not sure if I'm in or not. I really should check that. It is beautiful out. It's going to be like 17, 18 degrees today. Insane. It's like a late summer's day. It's gorgeous. Anyway, I changed in case you haven't noticed. This is the same top I put on underneath. Um, but yeah, sandwich. <laughs> because I was talking, my throat really hurts. It's not as bad as it was, but still, it's not, not good. I'm going to make um, fettuccine alfredo, only it's not necessarily going to be with the fettuccine. Um, and the alfredo is from a packet. Um, and I'm just gonna saute some veggies to go in it and maybe cook bacon, because that'll be good. This corner is so dark. Um, so I did the bacon um, and I put a little brown sugar on it. So it's like candied bacon. 
and I sauteed the vegetables in the bacon fat. It wasn't smoked, it was, it's basically just like strips of pork, so I needed to do something to make it something. <coughs> okay, and here is my pack of Alfredo sauce and pasta, which I still have to drain, but, but it'll be home in six minutes. And I think it turned out pretty good, but I haven't quite tasted it yet. What do you guys think? Did it turn out good? Mm -hmm. And the red wine is mine, not Violet's. <laughs> uh, I love the new chapeau. I like it too. I like it too. It's like your new your wine drinking cap for the yep. winter. Yep. Winter wine drinking cap. Winterized. My mother made him this uh, very Dickens type. Dickensian. Dickensian chapeau. That's what we're going to call it. So editing me here from my cozy nook in my bed. And I just want to say thank you for watching if you made it. I appreciate you so much. I can't even exp express. I can't even get the words out. I can't even express. I'm going to have a cup of tea that says I love you because I do. Thank you so much for being here. Um, you're no you'll be noticing a few little changes. I'm going back to my old channel. Uh, my little experiment of starting a new channel and um, all that is, I mean, it worked. The channel is going well, but I'm still pretty far from being monetized. And I kind of need to make any little uh, few bucks I can possibly make. So my other channel, um, which is still there, and I still post things, mostly shorts, but I'm going to go back to posting on that channel regularly. My new stuff will be over there. Anyway, I'm going to make a separate video about that, explaining all that. And hopefully you will move back over and find me there or follow me there if you have only followed me here. Does that make any sense? Anyway, I appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much. Happy weekend. And I hope you don't feel as miserable as I do. We'll see you next week, the last week of October. Bye. <laughs>